record and we are recording so welcome everybody so glad to have you we've got some new ambassadors on the um, call tonight so congratulations on making a great decision and joining us and jumping straight in to get training so that is awesome um, if you can stay muted we've got tons of people in here and I'm sure more are going to be jumping on if you have questions add them to the chat and I will do my best to continually look at that chat um, and try to answer those questions as well. So we're gonna start, I kind of sort of organized our questions for tonight and I am going to defer to smarter people than me um, for some of these answers. And you know, I just want you to know that I'm kind of showing you in some ways how I get my answers because I am in no way all knowing. Um, I am in no way claiming to be any kind of a product guru. I've been in this business for 20 months, so almost two years, I should know a lot about the products by now. But the reason I know a lot about the products is because I follow and watch videos and trainings from people who actually are nutritionists, I'm a CPA, um, who are nutritionists, who are doctors, who are nurses, who know much more than I do. So some of the basic questions I'm gonna answer myself, and then some of the others we're going to defer to others, and you will see um, how we are going to do that. Um, all right, so I can see lots and lots of you. Of those of you I can see, this is gonna how we decide how we're gonna start. Raise your hand if you have watched the new 2015 product video. Wow, okay, that's a couple hands. There are a lot of people, I'm surprised their hands are not up. Lots and lots of people. I think of all of you, there's like 33 people on this call. I just saw like five hands. Oh, Heather, raise your hand, good, thanks, girl. <laughs> Um, awesome. Okay. Yeah, there are a few of you. Okay. I'm surprised more of you have not. Can you hear me? I, I, I'm raising my hand. You can't see me. It's Krista. Uh, I watched all right. it. Thank okay. you. Um, so there should be more of you who have raised your hand. So maybe we will end our call. I was going to start the call with that, but it's um, a little bit of a long video and I want to get through some other stuff too. But you need to go out and you need to find the Plexus Products YouTube video. Um, it is called The Plexus Products, and it is put on um, by the Real Plexus Worldwide um, YouTube channel, which is the official Plexus Worldwide YouTube channel. And so that's a really great video. It's newer. It's updated, kind of fresh, whatever. It's not kind of as old and slow as the old one was. It's a great video. If we have time, we will end with that at the end. Um, but everyone needs to watch that, like multiple times, seriously, because you will get a lot of information out of that video, and you need to know about your products. You just do. So um, we're going to watch that at the end, or you're going to watch that. So let me get into some questions. Um, can you take accelerator and boost at the same time? So, for example, accelerator on your non-gym days and boost on your gym days, or are you better off with one or the other? Um, you know, there's really no like absolute answers to a lot of these questions because it's going to depend on every single person. You will probably find someone out there who says, I, you know, take one for a week and one the next week or whatever, and it works great for me. But typically, you don't want to jump from one product to another because you're not giving your body a chance to actually like get used to and reap the benefits of the products. These are not magic. They're not magical pills that are gonna bam, all of a sudden I took this one day and some huge change happened in my life. No, these products are actually their greatest when they are used consistently. And that's what we always teach about all of our products is that consistency. So I would say, although again, you might find someone that did do that and did fine with it, but I would say, you know, and what I see most often, is someone will take the accelerator for at least a month and then maybe switch to the boost for a month or take the accelerator for two or three months and then take a week off and switch to the boost for two or three months. Lots of people do not like both. Um, both of those products have caffeine in them. Both of them are metabolism boosters, but they have very different ingredients. And so one is um, the boost has an old Indian herb in it, the um, accelerator has 5-HTP, which is a mood stabilizer. And so they're, the different ingredients are gonna react differently in different people. The accelerator, most people say, can be used by the masses. 
Um, if you have a heart issue of any kind, if you have high blood pressure, you should not use either. Now, that being said, I know people who have and have done just fine. My husband was one of them. He doesn't listen to rules. He does what he wants, and he did fine. But it is not suggested that anyone with high blood pressure or a heart issue take Boost or Accelerator. So most people can take Accelerator, and they will do just fine. You can sit at an office job. You can have a job driving around like my husband does, and you will do fine with Accelerator. Boost, on the other hand, is a product that is thermogenic, and it is meant to burn fat while you work, while you exercise. And so if you are not the type of person who is actually going to go out and do cardio, lift weights, something to burn off that energy that the boost is going to give you, you are not going to like that product. So I do not suggest anyone take that product if they are not planning to go exercise. Um, where Accelerator, you can take, you know, if you choose to, you could take a product like that every day and you would be fine, whether you're exercising or not. Although it does give you a nice little um, boost of energy before you exercise as well. But it's different from Boost. Different people are gonna like different products. Those are actually products that I don't suggest most people start with, um, simply because they do have that caffeine in them, and for some people they do get jitters from them. Um, you always have to remind people that it has caffeine in it. If you are a coffee drinker, you need less coffee like significantly less coffee because people think, oh, well, you know, I only drink four cups of coffee a day. I'll drink three and, you know, chug my boost. Bad idea. You are going to get the jitters. Um, they need to eat a high protein breakfast, take the accelerator or the boost with their breakfast and cut way down on the caffeine because there's a difference between sipping on a cup of coffee and the amount of caffeine that absorbs into your body and taking a capsule of caffeine straight to the gut where it is going to break open and start processing in your body. Those affect two different ways and the boost is going to have a greater caffeine, a quicker caffeine effect than a cup of coffee but has the same equivalent of caffeine if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of that answer. So I would say no, that is not a good idea. I don't think that would be good for your body. I don't think you're going to see any benefit from it and that's the real thing. Um, I will say that I like to go to um, the Plexus Ambassador support page for one reason only. I think that page is a bunch of trash for the most part. You see a lot of drama and bickering and whatever. But I go out there and I search the page in order to find information like this. So I might go look up Accelerator and Boost and just see how people are using it. I might go look up, like someone asked me, I think the next question was, does Boost cause heart palpitations? Go look up Boost racing heart or Boost heart palpitations and you'll see where people say, oh yeah, that can happen if you're not eating a high protein diet, if you just chug two cups of coffee and took your Boost. You know, it's not the product's fault so much, it's that people are not educated in how to take the product. Um, so if that makes sense, you know, there's a, there's a protocol to take the product and that's why, yes, your heart can race because you've got way too much caffeine going in to your body too quickly. So Plexus Ambassador Support page is a great search just to find different people's thoughts on things, um, how they are using these products. Because again, a lot of this stuff is testimony and story driven. Um, you know, whether a product is going to work well for somebody with a certain disease is story driven. Has it worked well for others with that same issue? Um, it's not going to be clinical trial. It's not going to be, you know, any other way that you're going to find out besides did it work for someone else with the same issue? And that's a great place to find that information out. Um, we're going to talk a bunch about the triplex. So let's get into some of that. When is it best to take the cleanse? And if you are trying to lose, oh, when is it best to take the cleanse if you're trying to lose weight? And what if you're not trying to lose weight? Okay. So let's explain what BioCleanse is going to do. BioCleanse is going to grab toxins from in your body and flush them. So I tell every single person who starts on the BioCleanse that they, I give them a base. I say, take two at night when you go to bed with your probiotic. And that's because it's very simple for someone to remember. They take their slim during the day and then they take two probio, two BioCleanse at bedtime. You only have to remember two things throughout the day, not hard. Everybody can do that. And because of that, that's a simple way that I start someone. 
And so then I say to them, in a couple days, tell me how that's going. Or we will need to play around with your bio cleanse until one thing is happening. Your goal of the bio cleanse is to get you to go to the bathroom one to two times a day, every single day. And so whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're trying to gain weight, whether you're trying to keep the same weight, it does not matter. The goal of bio cleanse is to be going to the bathroom one to two times a day because that's what the majority of the product is meant to do. That's what it's gonna help you do. Now, if you have migraines, if you have restless leg, if you have um, other issues, I'll think of others as we're, we're talking. If you have other issues that are magnesium deficiency issues, then you might need to increase even more of your bio cleanse. But see, people who are magnesium deficient aren't gonna be able to take two and go to the bathroom one or two times a day. They need more magnesium. They are deficient. So someone who has restless leg or um, plantar fasciitis is not going to just take two and go one or two times a day. They're gonna require more. And as they realize, okay, I took the two at night and I go every other day, or I go some mornings, but I never go again the entire day and I feel bloated and yucky at night. Okay, so we need to increase your bio cleanse and have you take it. You know, don't, don't just have them take three at night or four at night. They're just gonna wake up with, you know, runny stool, that's no fun. Have them change up. Okay, well you could keep those two at night and then take one with your breakfast or take two with lunch or you know, play around with it. Some people do better by taking them between meals. Some people do better by taking them with meals. Um, you just have to have a person. I mean, that's the hardest product, I think, because it truly is 100% dependent on their body and how their body reacts. I have friends um, who absolutely cannot take BioCleanse on an empty stomach. They get diarrhea. They have to take it with food. If I take it with food, I swear it doesn't work. So every single person is different. And so I just tell people, play around with it until you are going to the bathroom one to two times a day. You can take up to six capsules a day. So some people need two a day and they're great. Some people need four a day. You know, some of us take somewhere between three and six a day, depending on, you know, what we've eaten or, you know, how our body's reacting that day, whatever. Um, but the recommended dose is no more than six a day. There are issues that you can have if you um, consume too much magnesium. We don't have anywhere near that quantity in our bio cleanse, but we do want to stick with what the, um, what the bottle says. And the bottle says, you know, no more than six a day. Um, can you take bio cleanse with prescription meds? The bio cleanse back at... Was it at Leaders Retreat? I think around the time of Leaders Retreat, like October 2015, they changed the, um, one of the ingredients in the BioCleanse and they got rid of the grapefruit um, extract and they put in an orange peel extract. And those are the bioflavonoids, bioflavonoids. And the grapefruit bioflavonoids used to have an interaction with certain heart medications. The orange bioflavonoids do not. So if you had heard before, oh, I can't take BioCleanse, it has grapefruit in it. It does not have grapefruit in it anymore, and I think it hasn't since October of 2015. So that is not an issue. I have never heard of any medication that has interactions with orange peel bioflavonoids. But you know, when people ask you questions like that, do not claim knowledge. Do not claim that you are a medical professional. Like I've said multiple times, I am a CPA. That's it. Um, and say to them, you know what, I've never heard of that, or I'll look it up and research it, or I'll ask my upline, but at the end of the day, if you feel uncomfortable or have a question, go ahead and ask your doctor or ask your pharmacist, and they'll have the best information for you. Don't put it on yourself to go, no, there's no problem, there's no medication that has a problem with bio, you know, bio cleanse. Not a good idea. You are not a medical professional, unless you are. So most of us on this team are not medical professionals and should be not be making um, those kind of statements. You know, say to them, if you feel uncomfortable, if you are concerned in any way, absolutely ask your doctor. Um, what is the youngest age to take SLIM? That's a great question. Um, SLIM, by FDA regulations, is an adult beverage. 
Um, it was, you know, created for adults. It is um, recommended for adults. However, we are a testimony and story driven product company. We all know that. And so I will tell you that I have heard stories and testimonies of people putting it in their baby's bottle. I absolutely know of friends who have seen good success with children ages two and over. Um, I personally have given it to my children since they were six, I would say. Um, my kids now are seven, eight, eight, and ten, and every single one of them has um, takes the slim. Does that make it, you know, doctor approved safe? No. Go ask your pediatrician. Um, every pediatrician will give you their recommendation, their thoughts. Are there pediatricians who have approved it? Absolutely. Um, will yours? I can't tell you. You know what I mean? But um, you can look up, again, you can look at the top of your news feed for children's testimonies, and you can look in that Plexus Ambassador Support page. And it's in the Plexus Ambassador Support page today that I found, and I knew I had seen it before as well, but where I found that there are moms who are putting the Slim in their baby's bottles. So that's that. That's kind of the answer. I mean, again, you know, I'll just have to keep saying this over and over throughout this call just to make sure we're all really clear, but it's not really our place to be making decisions like that or even to be saying, hey, this is what I think. My thoughts don't really matter. I can tell a person, I have seen testimonies where moms have put it in their baby's bottle and here's what has happened. I can say I have seen testimonies of children as young as four or five no longer suffering from ADHD because of these products. I have seen testimonies of children with autism, you know, having, you know, benefits and beginning to speak, et cetera, because of these products. But can I say you should do this with your child? No. That's between you and your pharmacist and your pediatrician. You know what I mean? That has to be how you, how you explain that. So you give them good information, but then you really totally 100% leave it to them to make the decision for their family. Um, okay, so here's a great question. Why do people feel bad when they start the triplex sometimes? Um, okay, so I want you to watch a quick video and it is gonna help you to understand this and then we are gonna talk about it a little bit. And again, all the information that I have, all the knowledge that I have is truly 100% because I take the time to watch lots of training videos. Um, I have some nutritionists who I love to follow. They're amazing. And so they have given me the knowledge that I have. So instead of me reiterating what a super smart nutritionist says, I am going to let you hear what the super smart nutritionist says. So let me make sure I get the right. One, oh, hold on. It's like that totally unshared my screen. That was so strange. Okay, hold on, let me try that again. There we go. Good old Ame darling. Um, I am gonna put this on full screen, so I'm not gonna be able to see anything for a second, but um, somebody unmute yourself if you cannot hear this and tell me you can't hear it because I'm not gonna be able to see the chat or anything once I start this video. I just want to re-remind you that I am always giving my personal um, opinion about products and maybe my personal journey and um, that that's where that comes from. So just keep that in mind that that's a, it's an opinion. And so the product I'm going to talk about next is probably one of my favorite next to the X Factor and of course Slim, um, but I'm going to talk about ProBio5. Now I'm going to often refer to BioCleanse because you really are going to want to get BioCleanse in you too, but ProBio5 is a probiotic. So let me give you a little bit of history. Um, long before most of you had ever even heard of uh, Candida or probiotics, we were living a nightmare um, of intestinal permeability, otherwise known as leaky gut, with my son. And he was creating new food allergies every three to four days because his gut, his stomach, his intestines were not healthy. And so when you have permeability, that means that you have these little junctions that you can see that the proteins slip into the blood and it creates a reaction and causes a food allergy. Now, if your flora, if all your good gut bacteria is high and good and healthy, you won't have as many issues with that 
um, if at all. And so that's why we're all freaky and flexible about everybody being on a ProBio um, because ProBio has so much benefit no matter who you are no matter what your health goals are. Um, also, when you're having weight loss issues, uh, that does tie back to um, gut health too. So ProBio5, um, who's it good for? Well, it's good for everybody. Everybody should be taking a probiotic. Our country in America, we don't tend to eat in a, um, in a probiotic rich manner. We don't eat, we don't eat kefir, we don't eat um, real yogurt, we don't eat um, kimchi, we just don't eat those things. And so what I would say to you is if you've ever had an antibiotic, if you have somebody that's having ear infections, um, gas, bloat, uh, constipation, diarrhea, uh, dark under eye circles, um, I, at one point I had a client who was actually leaking stool, a little boy, and so there are a million things, headaches, oh my gosh, yeast overgrowth is responsible for so many horrible things. Now, it's not responsible for everything, but it really is responsible for a lot. And so here's the thing with um, probiotics in general. So they're gonna repopulate your gut, and most people can just take one, which is what the dose is on this, on the bottles, one. And But if you've had um, any of those, a lot of my clients that have um, lots of stomach issues, joint pain, things like that, they eat really well, but they have way too much candida. So even skinny little people get a lot of candida overgrowth. So here's the deal on what candida is. Every person is born with candida in the body and it's in the lower bowel and it's it's there on purpose. It's meant to break your body down um, when you die. And so it's there on purpose. Well, that also means that if it's left on unattended to and we don't eat well, we eat sugar, we eat typical American diet, and even people like me, I ate really, really well and had a horrible um, yeast overgrowth in my body no matter how many different probiotics I was taking. And I've done the, the um, anti-candida diet. I've done it all, okay? So um, when the body is left to its own devices, that yeast, it's very opportunistic. And what happens is, is it takes off and it goes all through the body. And what will end up happening is um, it will degrade the body. It does what it's supposed to do. So um, yes, everybody should be on a probiotic. It's just, I'm gonna bang that drum. So here's the deal. There are many different types of yeasts and lots and lots and lots of different types. But the one we talk a lot about is the most opportunistic, horrible one, and it's called Candida, Candida albicans. And Candida is very special in that it, if I want you to think about this like a ball and then lots of legs, like an octopus, okay? And it goes out into your body and it attaches to your organ system. It can get in your um, blood. It can sit in the bowel and it just degrades the body and you experience lots and lots of problems. So think about if the core of who you are, like you're a tree, was just rotting from the inside out. It can't absorb your nutrition properly. You're having problems in the outline areas. Well, then you start taking an aspirin here and a drug there and you, know, you do all these things, but that's like spray painting a dead leaf. That leaf is still dead and the core of your tree is still messed up. And so you wanna go back to the core and then get on the top of that yeast and it will proliferate and it'll go everywhere. And so candida is also special in that it has a very hard shell. So if it was a ball, it has a very hard shell and any old probiotic and little diet changes is not going to beat that beast. Okay. And so that starts happening. The other thing, and so it does, it does all that. And there's a ton more you can learn about yeast. If you really want to know, I, I have all kinds of resources for you because I'm all about the yeast, but that core problem. So how do you beat it? Well, most people, you know, changing some diet, reducing the the sugar, reducing the um, pastas, the breads, things like that. Um, you can tell from just your, how you behave. I was like a, a hot tamale, Skittles-seeking missile. Even as a nutritionist, um, I would seek out candy. And when I became a nutritionist, I just started eating dye-free, non-high fructose syrup versions of sugar. And so sugar is just feeding it. So in your weight loss journey, you're trying to use your slim and it's stopping the cravings, but then you saw this high yeast, and so you're still seeking out the junk. And so it's helping um, break that habit. So you've got the issue of where it is. You know you did your spit test. You know why Candida itself is such a, a nasty little beast. So why is it that ProBio 5 is so special when you've tried every other probiotic? Well, I can tell you from personal experience, and I can tell you from several team members, that there's just nothing like it. There just isn't. Um, so you flip it over and you look, you've got five strains of beneficial bacteria. 
you've got the important ones, you've got the lactobacillus, you've got the bifido, and you also have another strain of yeast, and it's called S. Boulardi. And Saccharomyces boulardi is why it says on there contains yeast. Well, why would we want to take yeast to get rid of yeast? Well, S. Boulardi is special, and it really, really helps. Um, it helps. It's a good beneficial yeast, and so it's important. Um, you can look up tons more information. So why is it that it's special? Well, you got your five strains, but then the other thing you have is you have an enzyme and you have an antifungal. And so you're not just going to kind of attack the yeast. That's kind of like walking by a wildland fire and pouring a Dixie cup on it. That's what you've probably been doing. What this is going to do is it's going to walk by that wildland fire and it's going to take it out, okay? You've got to have an enzyme to break that nasty wall and you have to have an antifungal which in this case is grapefruit seed extract, that antifungal, and it's gonna help just get rid of it. It's gonna help get in there and ugh, get rid of it. So it's gonna kill it, get rid of it. The good beneficial bacteria are gonna overpopulate, and then that way you're starting to get rid of it. Um, I will tell you from personal experience that I started using two every night, and then my candida was still so high, I was using a third one in the morning. This is not a product that you take six of in a loading dose. Don't do that. You will probably have some nasty flu-like symptoms that are called detox. It's actually a Herxheimer reaction, but just know that it's detox. And detox, what that is, is it's flu-like. And that means, because that yeast is, is, oh, you're gonna feel like you want more sugar. It doesn't wanna die. And so since it doesn't wanna die, it holds on and it's hard to get rid of. So you've gotta look at your diet. You can't be eating a bunch of junk wine, beer, things like that, um, it will make a difference. Now, I'll tell you another little creepy thing, okay? Your tongue. So take a look at your tongue. I am a tongue freak. I'm saying it on this video, but I see people in the news and I'll go, oh my gosh, their candida is so high. It's a true story. Yeah, that, that, that Miley Cyrus, oh, she's got way too much candida in her mind. So the tongue looks all coated and nasty. Just take a minute and look it up. But when I looked at my tongue and my, I felt good, but, and I was using three a day, two at night, one in the morning, but I wasn't using it with the pro bio, with the bio cleanse. I wasn't, I was not using it. And here's what I started doing. I started using the bio cleanse, which is an oxygenator. Okay. Totally important, especially for getting your body to flow better nutrition where it needs to be. Um, athletes hear about oxygenation all the time. It's in there. Magnesium, keep everything flowing happy and healthy. It's in there, but it amplifies the probio five. Mm -hmm. So some good plexus friends and I put our geeky little heads together and start talking about how I needed a lot of help because I was obviously not doing something right. I added two probio or two bio cleanse to my regime at night to my, my bio, um, ProBio5 and started taking two and two. Within a week, tongue is clear. Totally. So I'm super excited. Um, the reason it's special is you're getting three products in one. If I were in an office as a practitioner like I used to be, I would tell you go buy grapefruit seed extract, go buy an enzyme, and go buy um, these probiotics. And it's all in one. It is the most efficient, effective product I've seen um, on the market for probiotics. And so you got to get it. It's just, it's awesome. So that's why it's awesome. Watch the other video about BioCleanse and I'll talk about that one. All right. I love her. If you don't know who that is, that's Ame Darling. A-I-M-E-E -E, Darling. D-A-R-L-I-N-G. Tell you about now uh -oh, is she's still talking about and <laughs> Now I, was... I don't want to hear about bioplans. Sorry. Um, she is amazing, and she is going to be able to educate you on pretty much everything you want to know about products, honestly. Um, so hopefully that answered a lot of questions. One thing she didn't go into a ton of detail that was asked, she talked about the Herxheimer or whatever it's called, essentially die off detox. Um, lots of people feel die off or detox when they start ProBio5 and BioCleanse. And she did talk about that. And she talks about what that is. It's that candida releasing into your body as it's dying, not wanting to die, trying to hold on. You feel worse. You feel more sugar cravings. Um, typically whatever issues you had ahead of time, they exacerbate, they get worse before they get better because of this die off detoxification that your body is going through. So something you can do is first of all, check in with your customers to see how they're feeling. Don't leave them hanging and feeling like 
garbage and not knowing what to do. I do not suggest you warn them in advance that they're going to feel terrible and they could feel like they're going to get the flu. I mean, nobody's going to join you. They're all going to be like, mm, thanks anyway, not going to do that. But check in after a day or two. How are you feeling? Check in after five or six days. How are you feeling? And then that's where you start to, oh, well, I feel really great, except, you know, my sugar cravings are out of control. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, I know what this is. I remember that video that day. This is die off. Here's what we're going to do about it. You know, we can increase our bio cleanse to make sure we're going to the bathroom one or two times a day. Absolutely increase your water intake to make sure you are flushing toxins. It's so critical when you're killing all this junk off, you are flushing it from your body. And then also, um, and I do believe in her next video when she talks about BioCleanse, she also talks about, it might be another video, I've watched all of her videos, but you can take up to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day and that will help with that die off, um, candida die off as well. Another thing, if it's terrible, um, I have a girlfriend who is doing amazing and having all the success but she's bloated and she feels yucky. And I know it's die off because she was just so sick. Have her decrease. You know, sometimes it's just too much for your body. You might have started on two pro probio. Have them decrease to one or even have them take a week off. Let their body just adjust and then start back. Just try one a night for a week or just try, you know, one a night for two weeks. Sometimes it's just simply too much die off all at once and your body just goes nuts. Um, I'll tell you, and I've said this on other trainings, my daughter, I started, she was seven at the time. I started her on ProBio without the BioCleanse because I didn't know any better. It was a long time ago. She had, she'd kill me if she knew I was telling you all this, um, but she's eight. She won't know. Um, she had the worst yeast infection I have ever seen in my life. The worst, like acne yeast infection down for a little eight-year-old where it does not belong, terrible, because all of those toxins have to come out of your body. They're gonna come out one way or another. So they're gonna come out through acne. They're gonna come out through a yeast infection. They're gonna come out through thrush. If you're not flushing toxins with the BioCleanse and with the water, I mean, I immediately put her on the BioCleanse and you know, start talking to her, how often do you go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, you're only going one every three days? Like, okay, we gotta fix this, you know, whatever. And we got back on track, but, and decreased the ProBio for a little while and then added it back in. Um, but that should answer a ton of questions that you guys had about um, side effects, determining if you need more than two ProBio a night, do not load somebody up and tell them to take three or four a night to start. Um, it is a long time before you get to the point where you decide that you need three. And it would be things like, gosh, I still crave sugar. Gosh, I still have thrush in my mouth. Um, I still have acne, you know, a month or two months or three months into this journey, I still have it. For me, I take three ProBio every single night. Um, because I deal with reflux otherwise. But I mean, if you've known my story, if you've ever heard my story, if not, go find it. Um, on Facebook, it's all over the place, but I had horrible reflux and a terrible gut. So it only makes sense that I need more because my gut was just way whacked. Um, some other simple questions. Can you take ProBio 5, X Factor, and Nerve all at bedtime? I mean, there's nothing that's gonna interact where I would say you cannot except X Factor is full, rich in B12, B6, vitamin D, all, um, all vitamins that are gonna give you energy. So for many people, they cannot take something like an X Factor and then go to bed. Um, I'll answer that in a second. Um, you cannot take something like um, X Factor and go to bed. Some people might be able to, but I would not start somebody on X Factor at night simply because it is an energy inducing product because of all those great B vitamins in it and because of the vitamin D. Um, Mary Kay wanted to know, does ProBio 5 require refrigeration? No, it does not. That's a great question. And it does not because it is freeze-dried and all the probiotics are freeze-dried in the capsule. The capsule is created in a way that it does not react to the first heat. It, it seeks, it finds. The first heat most probiotics find is in your mouth. And so they begin to activate in your mouth, which is not where you want them activating. So they have to put billions and billions of CPUs in it because they know they're going to start dying the minute they hit your mouth. And they have to be refrigerated because they have to be live and be ready to, you know, do whatever. Ours 
is freeze dried, put in a capsule that is not going to break down until it hits your digestive tract where it needs to, and it was freeze dried so that then it starts to activate and work um, in your gut. So does not have to be refrigerated. Can an infant take ProBio 5? Um, again, go look up testimonies, ask the pediatrician, but I absolutely have seen testimonies of babies as young as like three and four weeks who had terrible reflux um, issues getting a little bit sprinkled um, in their formula. Yes, I have seen that. Am I recommending it? No, I am not. I am a CPA, not a nutritionist. Um, is there ever a time to take more than six bio cleans? I would say no, because we always say that you don't take more than six. Um, let me see what else. Oh, ease and nerve capsules. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, which products are good for insomnia? ProBio 5 helps a ton with insomnia, and so does Mega X. Those are both great products to take at bedtime if you have sleeping issues. Um, the ProBio 5 relaxes a lot of your body with the BioCleanse as well. Some people feel that those keep them awake, but hardly anybody. There are very, um, there are very few people who find that those keep them awake. Most everybody finds that these products help to put them um, at ease and put them to sleep. And which products are all natural and which have a component of artificial or non-plant based? Um, none. All of our products are natural. Um, there are no artificial dyes, sweeteners, anything in any of our products. And while not every product is plant-based, that's simply just because like a probiotic cannot be plant-based because it has to be the bacteria and the digestive enzymes. There's no plant in any of that. But that doesn't make it fake. It just makes it not plant-based. Um, the Slim is mainly plant-based. The um, new Mega X is completely plant-based. It's a plant-based um, mega or it's a plant-based omega product instead of being a fish based the ease capsules are the um fish and muscle based um product for omegas as well and for pain um do you think biocleanse fleshes out other things like prescriptions or say you take it with x take x factor with it biocleanse is created to grab toxins and flush them from your system. It's not flushing everything, so it's not flushing healthy things you're eating. It's not flushing nutrients. It's The whole design of it is designed to oxygenate your GI tract and your bloodstream and to flush toxins. So it is not flushing um, bad things or good things from your body. Um, the X factor is going to help you with absorption. So you are going to absorb things better. I know for my son, he absorbed his anxiety medicine much better until we got to a point where he didn't need it. So we were able to decrease it pretty quickly because he was absorbing it so much better. And then we were able to eliminate it completely when he got his gut healthy. Um, so I hope that helps. I do know one thing I wanted to tell you guys that nobody, well, maybe it was sort of asked, is um, thyroid medications. I think it's metformin is what people take for thyroid and any other thyroid medication should be taken three hours away from the slim. So that is important. You want both of those to work properly. You don't want them kind of counteracting each other. And so if you have someone who's on a thyroid medication, y'all, you have to, okay, maybe it's Synthroid. Um, I think some people take metformin too, but maybe I'm totally confused. But anyway, thyroid medications, whatever they are, again, CPA. Thyroid medications need to be taken three hours away from the slim. So you need to specifically ask people, do you take medication for your thyroid? Because people will not just tell you. They'll, you'll ask them, are you on anything? Do I need to know about any medications? No, 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 you know, whatever. Or they just, you know, if you don't ask, they're not going to tell you. So absolutely ask them um, about anything that they take for their thyroid. It needs to be taken three hours away from the slim. Um, two random questions and then we're going to watch another video and I know this is going long tonight, but y'all had so many questions. I got to answer them all. Um, how do I, these are totally random. How do I get a new success kit? If you are a brand new ambassador, your success kit is being mailed to you, um, either with your welcome kit products, which is awesome, or within seven to 10 days because they did go on back order for a few days. Um, so if you get a little note that says your welcome kit is coming soon, it's coming soon. Um, and they're going to ship it to you, you know, separately for free. They're not going to charge you for that. 
For all of us who have been around for a while and want a new welcome kit, those are supposed to be coming out in the next few weeks. So they're going to have to go off a of back order and they're going to have to get them shipped out to all the new ambassadors first. And then they're going to make them available for us. They are going to be $16 and you're going to be able to order them through your back office. And as soon as I know about it, you're going to know about it because I want everyone who is not brand new and does not have one to go buy one because they are incredible and they're going to be a huge help for your business. Um, and the unconditional backup orders and can't a con an ambassador just use their conditional one? Um, okay, so conditional backup orders are used to make sure you get paid every month because you have to have a conditional backup order on in, in order to get paid. That shows the company you are an active ambassador. So if you join at the end of the month and just are joining for wholesale or not gonna have any customers and just wanna get your products that way, you can use that conditional backup order. If I joined on the 24th of the month, then every month on the 25th of the month, my products would just ship out to me as long as I had no customers. If you have one single customer, or say you joined on the second of the month, if I joined on February 2nd and I just used my conditional backup order, I'm not gonna receive product again until March 25th because nothing's gonna ship to me in February because that was my joining month, and then nothing's gonna ship to me in March until the 25th of the month when I have not met the condition of having $100 in PV. So, that stinks because I joined February 2nd and I have already used all my product by March 2nd and then I am waiting on product until March 25th. That's no good. So anyone who is going to have a customer, has a customer, or joins early in the month is going to need a conditional and an unconditional backup order. Your conditional one is the 25th of the month. They're going to look through everybody's account. They're going to say, did you meet the condition of $100? Yes, yes, yes. Nope. Okay, no. I'm going to ship them their backup order. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody that says yes, nobody gets anything shipped. If it's a no, then they're going, okay, you didn't meet your condition. You said you wanted to meet your condition. I'm shipping you your backup order. But for everyone else, you don't want to wait for that. You want to just go ahead and set up a second backup order. So you're going to have your conditional. That's going to make sure you get paid. You're going to have your unconditional. That's going to make sure you get your products every month. They can look identical. They can not look identical. It doesn't matter. Um, I've said this on a gazillion um, trainings before. I have absolutely no idea what's in my backup order. I've been doing this since June of 2014. I don't care what's in my backup order because it's never shipped because I've always had customers and I've always had um, a different way to get my products for my family. We actually have my um, husband signed up as a customer to get the products for our family. So you can talk to the ambassador that you're signed up under to find out about that, or just simply set up an unconditional backup order that ships to you every single month, and that's how you get your products. So I hope that answers that question. The last questions for the night were based on the um, ease capsules and the nerve capsules, and so I want to share a quick video with you, and then we are gonna be done. Click over. Oh, it is her again. I love Ame, sorry, this is her again. So um, I'm gonna put this on for y'all to watch. Hi there, this is Ame Darling, independent ambassador with Lexus Worldwide, and also a master nutrition therapist. So I am speaking to you on this video from um, my knowledge as a nutritionist and my personal experience only. And so just to understand it's my opinion. And I wanted to tell you on this video about my favorite pain products, the Fast Relief line. Yay! I love Fast Relief, I'll tell you why. So if you have an allergy to seafood, you're really gonna wanna look at the ingredients because the main ingredient on both the, um, the cream and the capsule is the Ederol, which is a highly concentrated amount of green lipped muscle from New Zealand. So I love green lipped muscle. You can look up great studies on it. It's an omega, and so that means it's an anti-inflammatory. So it's going to help cool the problems in your body. And this video is gonna be a little bit long because I got a lot of info on this one. But let me just tell you that if you are um, a person that's really, you know, you're an athlete like me, well, I'm not an athlete, but if you like to work out, um, run, do your thing, CrossFit, you are totally gonna wanna own this because I have loved Fast Relief as a topical. Again, just a little bit of product. I rubbed it on my jaw when I got braces. I put it on my temples when I had a headache. 
neck issues, back issues, knee issues. My husband has used it for his post knee surgery, um, inflammation on his knees. And so it's just a great product for every person. My children use it personally. Um, I've got a swimmer and a jujitsu kid, and we do a lot of fast relief. We talk about it all the time. Um, love this product for a topical. Why is this special over other products you see out in the uh, marketplace? I'll tell you why. Because the very first ingredient is aloe vera gel, and it's not water, and it's not alcohol. The very first ingredient is aloe vera, and aloe vera is a carrier. And so that means that it's going to go in the skin. It's going to help the body to anti-inflame the tissues. And we all have in Plexus these crazy, amazing, never-to-believe stories that are totally true of everyday real people that have rubbed the product on and have felt relief for the first time in years and maybe even a lifetime. And so, again, topical, lots and lots and lots of amazing anti-inflammatory ingredients, bee pollen, curcumin. Um, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. Grapefruit, bee pollen, and of course, the muscle, vitamin E. And it's super simple. It doesn't stain. It's not oily. It's not stinky. So we have lots of practitioners on my team that love this product that are um, chiropractors, physical therapists, because they'll use it and they're like, whoa, that's crazy talk. It was actually a physical therapist who originally who was on our team, who she's the one that said, this is the best product I've ever seen. And she's been a PT for over 20 years. So I would challenge you to try it. Give it a whirl, see what you think of it, and um, love it, right? Just love it. You'll need it. You'll need one in the car. You'll need one at home. So that's why it's special because there's nothing else like it, and it really is incredible. So that's the Fast Relief Cream. Now, the capsule, I adore the capsule. So this is my husband's favorite product. He uses it. On the back, it'll tell you. It'll tell you one to three capsules, and it will tell you every four to six hours as needed. Now, here's what I want to tell you. You can't just take this product and think that your massive migraine is going to go away instantly because it's not an ibuprofen. This is an anti-inflammatory. But when you can anti-inflame the tissues, you can allow the tissues to get the blood flow it needs to heal. And so this is incredible. When I had braces put on, I, was, I experienced no jaw pain besides, you know, the skin getting ripped up. But I experienced no inflammation pain. My orthodontist had never heard of that. And again, my husband and his knee surgery, tons of runners. I have so many clients that are using this product. And you can use, I personally took it every two hours. I took two every two hours for the first two days because I wanted to. Do you have to do that? Not necessarily. But when you want to get ahead of the pain, you have to be willing to use two several different times and so a day, you know, two to three times a day so that you can get ahead of that pain. Simple, simple ingredients. We're talking, again, the New, lip, New Zealand green lip muscle, which I'm sure you've seen everywhere. Turmeric, again, an anti-inflammatory um, herb. Um, Serapepidase and bromelain. So what's really happening here? We're breaking down the nasty tissue. We're anti-inflaming. And then we're giving the body some good nourishment. Um, also, what I've seen very successful with this product is think about this. If you've got somebody with some food allergies or somebody with um, some different issues with absorbing their nutrition, get them on this product too. I know it's like, hmm, hmm, why would I use an anti-inflammatory? Well, number one, you need your omegas. You need all those omegas. Think salmon, okay? So think green lip muscle. And the second thing to think about is when the body has had food allergies, it's inflamed. And so any kind of you know, issues with brain, children, I can't recommend kids, but I can tell you my kids take it. And they have had gut issues where there's inflammation from gut to brain. Um, we actually have a woman on our, on our team who was using it with her child that has a, um, a ticking type thing going on. And again, I can't tell you to use it with kids ever, 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 but I can tell you in our personal home that this has helped with post-surgery. It's helped day-to-day -day back pain. It's helped um, my stepmom. Oh my gosh. Amazing, amazing product for all those inflammatory issues that people have. I'm sure you can think of what those things are that people have problems with um, that are pain related. Pain in the tissues, pain in the joints. Okay, let's talk about the Fast Relief Nerve Health. I, I'm newer to this product because I thought, well, I don't have nerve issues. Oh my gosh, the B vitamins in here, I am like so energized by this product. The B vitamins, the nerve health, all of those things, this is an amazing product. Again, I have a sister-in-law 
who cannot take this one and she's got a disease state that has a lot of pain all over her body, this is incredible for her. Little to no flares. And so again, play with those, look at the ingredients, just get on them. It would bring me to tears if I talked any more about these three. They are incredible and they have solid ingredients. They're clean, they're simple, um, easy to take, no smell, not gross. So you're gonna want some fast relief for sure. Awesome. I love her. Okay, so just so you know, Fast Relief is now called Ease. So if that confused you at all, it's just the old... Um, this is Ame, darling. Oh my gosh, you Fast Relief again. places worldwide. And Stop, Ame. Um, if you didn't know that, that we now call Fast Relief Ease, um, and then there's the nerve support as well. So that should answer a lot of questions tonight. I know we've gone way past our normal 30 minutes, but I think we got through every single question that was asked, which is awesome. Is there any last question that anybody wants to type in the chat as we are wrapping up? I will tell you that when you have questions, you need to go out and Google these videos. Um, if you just put in Plexus Ease YouTube or Plexus Ease Testimony YouTube or anything like that, you will find so much information and you might not be able to tell somebody every single thing and yes, I know it's gonna work for you, but you will be able to go to them with confidence and say, you know what, it is worth giving a try because the testimonies I have seen are incredible. Let me show you this one, let me show you this, let me show you what Ame Darling has to say about these products. You don't have to be a wealth of knowledge yourself. I mean, clearly, if I can, you know, make it this far and be a CPA and not a nutritionist and not know the difference between metformin and Synthroid, like, whatever. You don't have to know everything in order to know where to go to get the information. So watch the testimonies. Um, you know, ask the questions. Go to your upline for support, and you will find incredible information on all of our amazing products and testimonies that will just blow you away. So I hope this has helped to answer everybody's questions. Thanks for sticking with me for so long, and y'all have a great night. Bye, guys.